Now, I'd like to talk a little bit about the copper density cubes that we offer here at Luciteria for sale. Um, we do have some uh, differences here, uh, choices to make, and I want to start out with the most basic type. We sell these by the hundreds, literally. Uh, here is a cubic centimeter of copper, pure copper metal, 99.95% uh, purity, I believe. Uh, sometimes we can get them in at 99.99, but um, I'll call it 99.5 for now. So you can see this is incredibly well cut. Uh, it has very sharp edges all around, and uh, it's quite beautiful. There is no other metal that looks quite like it. Uh, so it will stand out in a collection of these density cubes. Uh, uh, this is the 10 millimeter, as I said. So uh, these go for about $10, a little more, a little less, depending on the supplier and um, so on, the time of year. But it's going to be very close to $10. Next up, we have the inch cube, uh, which is 25.4 millimeter. Uh, we make these for the American market as this imperial uh, uh, standard that is not used elsewhere in the world. Uh, we do get a lot of comments about, well, what is it with 25.4? And our international customers uh, do ask that quite a bit, and we have to explain that here in the States, uh, we have a lot of collectors who are just used to inches. So that works out to 25.4. Anyway, uh, same thing as the uh, smaller cube, but uh, on a much larger scale, this is very satisfying to hold in hand. The corners are super sharp. Uh, the edges as well and not as sharp in a way that would actually cut you I mean I can rub this hard and I'm not gonna get cut but you definitely feel that it's been machined to a very precise edge and uh, that's part of the appeal of this um, lastly we have these mirror polished versions uh, this is right now all we have here in stock are the 10 millimeter, but we do on occasion make them uh, larger sizes. Uh, absolutely beautiful. Once it catches the light, you could see yourself in there. It's the same thing, but much higher level of polishing. And uh, they're just gorgeous. Problem with copper is that it's actually one of the most delicate metals that we sell. In open air, they'll stay like this indefinitely with an asterisk. Uh, they do succumb eventually to high humidity. And, you know, if you live near the ocean, the, the salinity in the air is enough to start turning them. Uh, this is what happens if you simply hold it with your bare hands. So you can see there's a smudge there. That's a fingerprint. And at the time that it was held and, um, and actually made, the factory worker uh, held it with his bare hands and it probably looked just like this. But after a while, it, it starts to eat into the surface and there's nothing that can be done about this. You can't just wash this off. It's a chemical reaction from sweat that will cause um, that smudging to occur. Uh, unfortunately, there isn't anything that you can really do once once you start seeing these smudges. Uh, even if you do hold them with gloves like we do here, uh, obviously you are not going to get your sweat and your prints on them, but air itself, if it's hum humid enough, uh, will react eventually and slowly turn these darker uh, and Fortunately, there isn't that much that you can do to help that other than to keep it in a dry uh, place. You, it will stay at least like this for years if it's fully dry in a container of some sort. But anyway, I just wanted to give you a short overview of the uh, copper density cubes. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you have any questions, let us know. This is Raciel from Luciteria.